when someone has the first test done for syphilis, which is either an RPR or a VDRL, this test is a very nonspecific test. That means it can be positive for a variety of conditions, not just in syphilis. There are things that will cause a positive RPR that include malaria, Lyme disease, mononucleosis. Sometimes people who chronically abuse drugs will have a positive. Sometimes even pregnancy will cause a positive test. The important thing is the second testing that's done. This testing is done with fluorescent antibodies. These antibodies look for the specific syphilis infection. And when they come back positive, then that's a sign that the person actually does have syphilis. When the person's tested with the antibody testing and it comes back negative, that means that there's no sign of the syphilis infection in their body. For this reason, once that testing comes back positive, you can go ahead and proceed with the I-693 exam without any worry that it will affect the immigration process. If you have the difference in testing between the initial test and the second test, then it's important to discuss this with the civil surgeon to figure out if you have some other medical condition that's going on that may have caused this sort of reaction on the tests. You may want to go ahead and review some of the conditions that I listed or other medical conditions that you may have to make sure that there's not something else going on that caused the first reaction to be positive.